Did you know an average glassblowing artist can create up to 20 pieces of unique art in a day? Welcome to the intriguing world of glassblowing. The art of glassblowing is a fascinating dance of fire, air, and molten glass, resulting in captivating creations that mesmerize and inspire. It's an ancient craft dating back around 2,000 years to the Roman Empire, and yet it continues to captivate us in the modern age with its unique blend of skill, creativity, and raw elemental forces. Over the centuries, the art of glassblowing has evolved, adapted, and grown. Yet at its core, it remains a practice steeped in tradition. Each piece of glass art tells a story, not just of the artist's vision, but of the history and evolution of this captivating craft. In the early days, glassblowing was a skill reserved for the elite, with artisans creating intricate vessels for royalty and the upper class. But as time went on, the art form became more accessible and the world began to appreciate the sheer beauty and versatility of blown glass. From windows in medieval cathedrals to the vibrant sculptures of contemporary artists, glassblowing has left its mark on the world in countless ways. Technological advancements have also played a role in shaping the art of glassblowing. The introduction of the glassblowing pipe, for instance, revolutionized the craft, allowing artists to create larger and more complex pieces. And yet, despite these advancements, the essence of glassblowing remains the same. It's a delicate balance of heat, timing, and skill. A dance that transforms a seemingly ordinary material into something extraordinary. Today, glassblowing continues to thrive, a testament to the enduring appeal of this remarkable art form. Artists around the globe continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with glass, creating stunning pieces that challenge our perceptions and inspire awe. So, what makes glassblowing so intriguing? Perhaps it's the way it bridges the past and the present, the traditional and the contemporary. Or maybe it's the sheer beauty of the finished product, a tangible testament to the skill and creativity of the artist. In the next few minutes, we are going to take a deep dive into the process of glassblowing. Glassblowing, a mesmerizing dance of heat, breath, and skill, starts with the gathering of molten glass. Imagine a vast, glowing furnace, its belly filled with a pool of molten glass. It's here that our journey begins. The glassblower dips the end of a long, hollow iron rod known as a blowpipe into this fiery pool, turning it slowly, gathering a glob of the molten material. This is the gather, the foundation of our glass artwork. The glassblower then carefully withdraws the blowpipe, holding a glowing honey-like blob at its end. But it's too hot and too fluid to work with just yet. So the glassblower gently rolls it across a flat steel table known as a marver. This cools and shapes the glass, preparing it for the next step. The glassblower is always turning the blowpipe, keeping the glass centered and symmetrical. Now, it's time to breathe life into our creation. The glassblower places their mouth to the cool end of the blowpipe and blows gently. The hot glass expands like a balloon, responding to the pressure. This is the initial inflation, and it's a delicate process. Blow too hard or too fast, and the glass could shatter or become misshapen. Too gentle, and the glass might not inflate at all. It's a skill that takes years to perfect. But our glass is still a shapeless blob. Before we can mold it into something beautiful, it needs more material. So the glass blower returns to the furnace for another gather. This process might be repeated several times, each gather adding a new layer, a new dimension to the piece. Each step in this process, from the first gather to the initial inflation, requires a delicate balance of heat, timing, and skill. But the reward is worth it. The result is a unique piece of art, born from fire and breath, shaped by human hands. And now, we move to the exciting part, shaping and molding the glass. Shaping the glass is where the magic truly happens. This is where the artist's vision comes to life. As the molten glass spins on the end of the blowpipe, it's time for the glassblower to step in. With a palette of tools as diverse as an artist's, the glassblower begins to shape the material. There's the jack, used to shape and constrict the glass, and the shears, which cut and trim it. And there's the punty, a solid metal rod that's used to hold the piece while it's being worked on. But perhaps the most powerful tool in the glassblower's arsenal is their own breath. By blowing into the blowpipe, the artist can inflate the glass like a balloon, expanding it into the desired shape. 
It's a delicate process, a dance between the artist and the material, each responding to the other's movements. However, the shaping process isn't just about manipulating the glass. It's also about maintaining the right temperature. You see, glass needs to be kept hot during the shaping process, typically between 1500 and 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. If it cools too much, it becomes rigid and can crack. But if it gets too hot, it can become too fluid and lose its shape. To maintain the right temperature, the glass blower frequently returns the piece to the glory hole, a furnace kept at a constant high temperature. This reheating process, known as flashing, ensures the glass remains workable. As the artist shapes the piece, they must also consider the thickness of the glass. Thicker areas will retain heat longer, while thinner areas will cool more quickly. It's a delicate balancing act, requiring the artist to constantly adjust their techniques as they work. The shaping process is a testament to the glassblower's skill and creativity. Each piece is unique, shaped not only by the artist's hands and tools, but also by their breath and vision. But our glass creation is not complete yet. There's still one crucial step remaining. The final stage of glass blowing, annealing, might seem simple, but it's vital for the longevity of the piece. Annealing, a term borrowed from the metallurgy industry, is the process of slowly cooling hot glass to relieve internal stresses after it was formed. The piece, still glowing with heat, is placed into an annealing oven, also known as a lair. Here, it is carefully cooled over a period of several hours or even days, depending on the size and complexity of the piece. Why is this step so essential, you ask? Well, when glass cools, it contracts. If different parts of a piece cool at different rates, it can cause stress within the material. This stress is an invisible enemy lurking within the matrix of the glass. It can cause the piece to crack or shatter, sometimes immediately, or sometimes weeks or even years later. That's why annealing is not just a step in the process. It's a safeguard for the future of the piece. Consider annealing as the cool-down period after an intense workout. It might not seem as exciting as the workout itself, but without it, you risk injury and can't reach your full potential. Similarly, without the careful, controlled cooling provided by annealing, a glass piece can't reach its full potential of beauty and durability. This step is a testament to the patience and precise control that's required in the art of glass blowing. It's a science as much as it is an art, balancing temperatures, timing, and the natural properties of the glass to create a stunning, enduring work of art. And so, after the hours of careful cooling in the annealing oven, the glass piece is finally ready. It's removed from the oven, now entirely cool to the touch. It's a moment of revelation, as the finished piece is seen in its entirety for the first time, gleaming and perfect. And with that, our glass piece is complete, a testament to the skill and creativity of the glassblowing artist. Every glassblowing piece tells a story, a story of patience, creativity, and the transformation of a simple material into something extraordinary. Just as a writer weaves a tale from a simple idea, a glassblower shapes a unique creation from a molten blob of glass. The process is a dance, a symphony of heat, movement, and creativity. It's a testament to the skill and imagination of the artist, a journey from the formless to the exquisite. Let's journey back through what we've explored today. We started with a glimpse into the intriguing world of glass blowing, where fire and sand come together in a delicate ballet of creation. We discovered how the ancient art form has evolved and flourished across the globe, becoming a beloved medium of artistic expression. Then we delved into the complex process of glass blowing. We began with the gathering of molten glass on the end of a blowpipe, a critical step that demands precision and care. We explored the art of shaping, where the glass blower's skill is truly tested as they manipulate the hot fluid glass into their desired form. And finally, we witnessed the process of annealing, the slow cooling that strengthens the glass and prevents it from shattering. Throughout this journey, we've come to understand the immense dedication and skill required in glass blowing. It's not just about the final product. The beauty of glass blowing lies in the process itself in the transformation of a simple material into an object of beauty and intrigue. It's a dance between the artist and the elements, a testament to the power of creativity and imagination. However, 
It's not just about the process, but also about the end result. Each glass piece is a testament to the artist's vision, a tangible manifestation of their creativity. It's a story told in glass, a story of patience, imagination, and the transformative power of art. Remember, each piece of glass art is unique, just like the artist who made it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys into the world of art.